What is going on, guys? Wise here, coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was actually our first clan challenge sort of arranged matchup uh, against uh, this clan, Swedish Elite. Uh, really good group of guys, Swedish clan. Uh, they reached out to us and did an arranged war. So uh, let's just jump right on into this and check it out. 80 to 73, 2.0 did come away with the victory. Uh, overall, it was a really great war. Uh, uh, you know, Sweden Elite just had a, a few struggles, um, as we will see here in a sec. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, so they left Nina with a one star, you know, the 81% from uh, Town Hall 11. So that hurt a lot, and then an 82%. Um, so those were big misses for them as well. They left a couple nines on the board, so that ended up kind of ultimately being their demise. Uh, 2.0 did a great job, though, you know. We... <coughs> Had a fairly clean war, I'd say. Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 there, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, and Town Hall 11. So, uh, you know, we used three 11s to clear, uh, yeah, three of their, uh, three 11s to clear three of their 11s, and then two 10s to clear their 11s. So that's, that's kind of a good outcome. Uh, did have a few bully misses. We left some 10s on the board. I think three, four, five, five. Uh, I have a couple TH10 triples in there to show you, and uh, we did not need any bullies on the nines, so that was fantastic as well. Uh, we're actually going to start right at the bottom. I want to show Mike O's attack here because obviously the game has changed. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting together with Cad this week. He's he's actually out meeting. He's in Amsterdam or near Amsterdam with McGrady right now, uh, so they're uh, partying it up. But definitely when he's back, we're going to kind of get together and put together uh, something for you guys, like I had mentioned. But uh, I like Mike's use of the skeleton spell that is definitely new with only four dragons, a couple baby dragons. So the idea here is going with the kill squad <clears throat> just kind of brings in this golem here. Clears out a funnel. Both the golems are now in. One's almost dead though, but no big deal. Heroes are going to back this up with some bowlers. So he's going to get big push into this base. Now the idea is he's going to get uh, a couple of these air defenses. This guy um, unfortunately has this air defense like really, really unprotected on the outside. Um, in fact, that wizard almost was going to go around and get it. I believe the queen does go around and get it here. Maybe after that gold storage. Or does she go to the clan castle? Yeah, she goes to the clan castle. Uh, but regardless, oh, the bowler does. That's right. Uh, so that's going to get taken care of. Look at this skelly spell go down. Even though it's beside, he waits for the whiz tower to get aggroed on the stuff in the core. Drops the skelly spell, or the three skelly spells, and they just take out those buildings very, very quickly. So kind of neat. See the skelly still spawning out of the ground there. Um, might have been a little preemptive on that. Uh, now that I'm kind of watching it again. Uh maybe wanted to wait until some of these defenses were uh, were targeting stuff as well because really the uh, that air defense still went out of range you would have had to drop it right now though but whatever nice treat in the bag clearly here for mike O. Oh, really uh really cool use of that skelly spell boom nice job buddy all right moving on we're gonna go to 24 yeah. Ryan, so I have a few six pack heroes this war. Uh, Ryan is definitely one of them. Um, just bringing a very, very standard sort of shattered, uh, you know, go hobo. Golems are in. Uh, what I like about this tag is just very clean entry. Um, it is kind of nice now having those level six wizards. Uh, at Town Hall 9, they do clear out the trash on the outside of a reasonably, reasonably quicker. Um, but just very clean entry. All the uh, all the bowlers are in. Uh, heroes are now in. Poison's down, taking care of the clan castle troops and the uh, enemy archer queen. So down that goes. Bowlers are out of the rage. Going to start busting all of that stuff up. Um, interesting dropping of the one hog over there. I don't think that was fully intentional. Uh, <laughs> I think that was a misclick. But anyways, drops the Giants, right? Gets a little tank in from those point defenses. Um, the Hogs take them down cleanly without taking any damage. Probably didn't even need to heal that quickly. Maybe could have overlapped it a little bit. Because um, this last compartment is a little deadly for Hogs. But Kimuhai still has eight in the bag. I don't even think he's lost one yet at this point. So they're going to continue to work through the bottom section of the base. Drops a Giant again to tank those Wizard Towers. Really, really nice use of the Giants there, Ryan have so many troops left and all the fences are down boom absolutely smashed it buddy that's tree in the bag man it's like two in the morning 
we're getting really busy on the weekends again now, so I'm there pretty late. And especially these clan challenges, I'm pretty sure you only get 24 hours to recap them. It's definitely not as long as normal, uh, I'm trying to say normal um, replay time, like for your wars or warlock time, whatever. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Anyhow, so uh, Derp is another six pack champ. Derp's going to bring a shattered entry with six dragons. Uh, I thought that was kind of neat. We did see a couple, like you just saw Mike using the drags. Uh, he only brought four. Derp's bringing six. So that's a very heavy investment. You're going to have to take care of a lot of air defense. But if you watch this entry, he's getting exactly that. He's going to get these three air defenses. Yeah, I believe he zap quakes the one near the queen uh, and king, sort of in the open area over here. And it, it, really, six dragons are going to rip through town online base. It's only going to be a matter of time at that point. Uh, so it's really, you know, really has to get those dragons down very, very quickly. We're just dropping them down here at the six o'clock. Here they come. So they're just going to start taking care of this whole side of the base all on their own. There's nothing to stop them. There's a, the three arch towers and the defensive queen that he's got to worry about over there. No big deal. Keep in mind, his kill squad's still doing work in the core. Gold finally bust there. Maybe a little premature uh, on that queen ability, but no big deal. I think she ends up getting the expo here. Maybe even the Tesla as well in one moment. Yeah, this gold mice doing just enough tanking for it. Hope she doesn't get the Tesla. It's too bad. What happens? I swear this queen ended up taking out this Tesla farm. Maybe she still does. I guess we'll see. But these dragons is going to rip through this section of the base. Like I said, like three archer towers. Even if there's a couple black mines in there, no way they're going to stop that many dragons. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. They are so slow. That's what I was saying about a matter of time. <clears throat> even the king's still up there doing a little bit of tanking. Huh. Well, the queen does survive to the end there, so <laughs> I was sort of right. <laughs> Look at how low these uh, dragons are getting, but it's, it's just too much for the last couple Teslas. Down it goes. Boom. Derp with a sexy tree. Nice job, buddy. Um, What do we got next? Number 17. DH. What I like about this tack? Oh, another very clean entry I found too. I like the minis here early on, knowing they're out of the Arch Queen range. Let's get working on the high hit point structure there. Take care of the uh, uh, funnel over there. <clears throat> down goes the Queen. He's going to go ahead and drop the healers. Basically walk this Queen down, down and around this Archer Queen chamber. Uh, take care of the uh, enemy Arch Queen. Pull up this Clan Castle here in one moment. Nice early poison on the Queen. I like that as well. <clears throat> so that is a deadly, deadly comp against a uh, against an arch queen. So you're gonna kind of see that with the early poison and the early rage, and it just kind of worked out perfectly. So right there, that clan castle can potentially not have your ability burned. However, you need to be very careful. Uh, I've said this many times. If you don't rage early enough, if you don't poison early enough, and your queen takes some damage that your healers are trying to catch up on, when that clan castle locks on, you better hit your ability. So that, that's kind of what you got to judge with that clan castle. If your queen's at full health, and you get that rage and poison down before the clan castle even gets close to her, then you're golden, but, you know, just be very careful. I made a few mistakes myself before, just being like, nah, she's good, and she's dead. <laughs> Anyhow, another thing I like for this attack with DH is, he brings a jump spell. Like, I veal her a lot, which means, I, like, I don't bring any jump spells. I just bring a bunch of ox, and they just shred through walls, especially if you rage them at the right times. But, so Derp uses that to his advantage. I like that because your Valks stay in a pack. You know, as soon as that little, um, as soon as one wall piece gets opened up, uh, they all follow through generally. Um, so Derp kind of uses that, but then also brings a jump just to kind of connect it when they start to maybe go astray a little bit and he lets everything right into the arch queen chamber they hollow up that six o'clock he does lose his queen here um, unfortunately but he's got uh just enough hogs kind of working through there the king and the valks like this they're coming up from six o'clock very very sort of blue veiler style and one thing we i, I didn't mention he drops a cz full of miners just kind of on the outside as soon as as soon as the valks and everything got to that queen chamber in came some miners they're all now working together 
going to obviously work through the rest of this base. I mean, the Expo, a couple cannons, a bit of a threat there, but really he's got to work through this stuff. Blast the ability to get through that town hall. And this is definitely tree in the bag for DH. Nice job, my friend. Boom. Uh, why did I have 17 before 18? That was stupid. But Leo, another six pack hero. Uh, not often you're going to see Leo bring hogs. Maybe now more so that the uh, they're a lot more powerful down online. Um, you know, Leo is definitely, definitely our air master, but he's showing here. He, he doesn't just Lalo, he does everything. Nice little stone, stone go -ho. <clears throat> just lets these golems on in. I'm gonna kind of just open this wall, jump right over this section. Now it goes. <clears throat> nice funnel here too as well. Um, his bowlers, if he didn't get that building, his bowlers probably would have walked down on three, but gets it just in time. Everything funnels into that core now. Poison's down, baby drag is dead. No big deal. King hasn't even hit his ability yet. It's about to pop. Heal spells down as well, right over top of that king. There he goes. Smashing down that enemy arch queen. He's gonna start working on that barb king as well. Queen now takes this weird path back out and around, but no big deal. It actually ends up working out because she does all the cleanup on this side. Uh, sends some hogs, recognizes it though, and sends some hogs over here. Uh, basically the rest of them. Just wants to get these point defense down. Just let his queen kind of walk freely down here and take care of all this stuff. Does lose a few to spring traps and they pit her out a little bit as this wizard tower beats on them. Um, but sends, or has three more that he sends on that cannon. Just again, to protect the queen. Very conscious of that. Has so many left over still. Finally, uh, there's no, no actual defenses to go. This is definitely a tree in the bag for Leo. Nice job, buddy. Crushed. Sway, queen ability. See, she probably would have been okay. But just there's so many hogs that you didn't know what to do with them at one point. Uh, we'll put some here. We'll put some here and here and here. and Oh, the base is dead. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, 16. So a couple town hall uh, tenures to show you. Um, both are go hobos, actually. So I uh, thought that was really cool. Um, did I have three? Yes, I did have three. Sorry, there's a surprise one. I didn't write it down. Um, so anyway, sorry, moving on. Uh, Sean's attack here. Really nice, gets the baby drag down here. He's just going to start forcing everything towards this town hall, towards these heroes. Um, gets a nice uh, push with these eight bowlers he's going to bring. <clears throat> All these Teslas on the outside too. That's really good value. Like uh, In this whole section... Basically, from the three to six is just really good value. It has to it can be so patient on this rage too. You know, only a level thirty-five queen. So, the fact that the first rage goes down uh, that late into the rage is, raid is really good too. Fortunately, I start working on this golem and ends up, I believe, oh, gets gets the little just in time. My bad. Uh, anyhow, so goes ahead, drops a golem giant out of a CC. Those eight bowlers go right down behind them. Going to get good value. Just got to uh, work through this uh, Barb King, work through the Tesla. Bam, bam, walking it open. There we go. Jump spell is going to go down. Let him right on into this uh, Inferno Tower in the middle. Was there only one Inferno Tower on this base? I think there was, actually. Huh, interesting. Uh, I did not notice that in the original attack. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, was this golem walking down here and protecting these bowlers for sort of just enough time. I um, think he misclicked the rage there <laughs> as well. So tough one there, Sean, but it was almost like a swag rage because now this one Inferno Tower is down. He's got so many hogs that are just going to bust through those max hogs. He's got two heal spells. And it's only really, you know, it's got basically two little sections of base he's got to work through. He's going to be healed the entire time. No danger whatsoever. Bowler's walking around the outside doing cleanup. The, the three star is imminent. Ooh. Very, very nice. Good job, Sean. It's like a half bully. Um, hmm. Definitely the next one. <clears throat> so Zerzi going again. 
Beautiful. Go Hobo one more time, uh, especially against these level one Infernos, uh, because obviously uh, the last attack we only had one Inferno. I need to double check that. I swear there's only one Inferno in the middle, but maybe I'm crazy. Um, but, you know, Cogs can work their way through uh, level one Infernos reasonably well, especially Max Hogs. You're going to kind of see that in action here. Um, so Golems go down. You're going to start working through the wall. Bam, bam. Did you forget wall breakers, Zerds? Zerds forgot wall breakers. I'm telling you, in this attack, <laughs> I just noticed that now. He definitely did not bring any wall breakers. There's no way he did not intentionally mean to bring some to open that wall. Anyways, bowlers in, heroes in, poison down, everything kind of working through this core. The idea is he really needs to get to this Inferno Tower. One, obviously kill the clan castle troops. Really just hollow out this 50% of the base, uh, maybe with the Town Hall excluded, but I believe the Queen even steps up, um, finishes off the Inferno Tower, takes all of this stuff out. Um, the Queen, pretty sure, lives pretty long in this raid. So here comes the two-finger drop on the Hogs. He recognizes he's also taken out three giant bombs, still has two heals and a freeze. So he's got a freeze for this level one Inferno. He probably could have just brought a third heal as well and been been off been just as well off because uh, this queen steps up boom boom two shots down goes that level one of furrow tower no need for the freeze whatsoever at this point <clears throat> gonna get that second heal spell down around these uh wizard towers there it goes and these hogs are definitely just gonna roll through the rest of this base just uses <laughs> uses the freeze on the on the wizard tower and the and the expo <laughs> but absolutely unnecessary Look at this golem here, too, walking around the other side. What a chump. What are you doing, buddy? What are you tanking? Let's <clears throat> oh, crack it out here while this finishes. And Zerds gets the tree in the bag. Nice job, buddy. All right, the secret attack. The secret attack? Close. So... This is, uh, kick, Alpha is kickbacks. So um, if anyone follows you, will know in um, kickbacks is in 2.0. He ended up swapping, his, his nine is in Invicta and then his 10 is Alpha in uh, 2.0. So a little back knowledge on kickbacks. Anyhow, this is the nicest attack I've ever seen this guy make, and I have seen him make a lot of very sexy attacks before. So he's going to just bust this queen in, walk straight across here, uh, gets pretty good value, but you're going to see fairly early he gets, I believe, a funnel going down on this side. Something. What is it again? Got something. Queen's going to work through this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Any second, he's going to start getting this funnel going on this side. Oh, just uses the king as the tank. So quick wizard down. I'm going to kill that, uh, oh, two wizards actually. Very nice. Get that uh, gold mine down very quickly. Gets a few Valkyries in. Just kind of lets this king and handful of Valks in towards this queen. They immediately lock on a defensive queen. Take that out. They also uh, pull up the clan castle troops. So it's a little unfortunate because the Valkyries basically die right here. Boom. You know, one blue crash with the Infernos on them. They're toast. So King almost pitters out. He works on this golem for quite a long time. Uh, Kicks recognizes this, drops the poison to make sure that balloon doesn't get another drop off. Queen steps up, starts helping out. <clears throat> and you're going to see it kind of like works out perfectly. He's already gone in with the with the air portion now, down at 6 o'clock. But really the key to this raid is what happens with this queen here. Hits the ability just in time. Nice work on the balloons in from the uh, three o'clock. Both Inferno Towers go down at the same time. Queen manages to survive with the healers on her. Inferno Towers down, gets that range down. Does perfect timing. Gets that queen right back up to full health. He's got hounds moving into this last air defense. Goes ahead and drops a heal too on these uh, sort of balloons that are trailing uh, behind uh, that lava hound that got out in front. Only a few Teslas remain. Really, just got to get those balloons on over, and it's definitely GG. Just absolutely sexy hit. Nice job, kicks. I mean, these infer uh, sorry Teslas over here posing a little bit of threat, but they're just a huge pack of balloons. I believe he's got just enough actually to get over to this Archer Tower in time. I think maybe one balloon survives, but it doesn't matter. Like obviously, he's got his queen, who's actually about to believe redirect maybe. 
as soon as I believe this gets cleared, she kind of redirects and runs around. But yeah, just makes it to the arch tower just in time with two, two balloons. One balloon? Is that one balloon? That's one balloon. One balloon to go. <laughs> but so many pops. Look at that back end. Just a matter of time now. Kicks. Just killed it. Love that raid. Very sexy. All right. So Sweden Elite, thank you for the fantastic war. Shout out to you guys. Just go ahead back here and check you guys out again. SwedishElite.net. Um, obviously, you can uh, apply on Swedish. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but home is the Swedish Clash Comic Team. Um, you know, these guys are good. They do have their YouTube channel. I guess Lord Oliver. Um, check them out because they are uh, definitely legit. So, uh, shout out again, uh, Swedish Elite. Thank you for the war. Uh, I'm going to call it a night here, guys. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you back that next three start. Till then, I'm out.